you guys did something that's uncommon. The Ducks, anyways, they claimed to play her off unconditional waivers yeah now, exactly. unconditional mm-hmm. is there that guy getting bought out like like when i noticed that i initially thought oh, okay lucas Alvarez is going back to sweden he's done with vegas mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so when the ducks claimed him i was like oh it's a, it's a really smart idea i've been following this guy since his draft year he was an under in 2017 so that was vegas's first draft uh he was like a dark horse pick i was pushing like he projected like a third rounder kind of uh he's got had all the tools you know was still playing played on sweden's national junior teams ivan holinka everything he's been a great playmaker a really good pass first guy and he's at 22 years old now and he he ahl all-star his first year uh you know last year is the covid like in the covid year so his ahl all-star year got shut down due to covid his last year in the AHL got shut down due to COVID. And this year there's obviously been complications everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, And and this guy's still producing at over a 0.7 point per game clip at the AHL level over these last three years. And I think Vegas has pretty much a set roster and and some of the guys they have there, like Keegan Colasar has been a great fourth line player for them. He does everything you'd want a fourth liner to do. And so I, I feel like, you know, they kind of lost. I think his hope for playing in Vegas was lost. And But Anaheim's got a lot of good opportunity for him. They've got, you know, you never know what's going to happen with Ricky, Raquel, after this year. You know, there's a lot of move and talk, depending on where the Ducks are going to be. Uh, Getz is playing on a year-to-year basis at this point. And, and you got other guys like, you know, Sam Carrick, Buddy Robinson, filling out the bottom half of your roster. I know Ducks management likes Nick Delorier, but you don't know if the new GM is going to like Nick Delorier. You can see co- close comparisons too. So the on the left there, when he was drafted, his top three comparables were Dave Boland, Wayne Primo, and a, some some other guy you guys are familiar with. Now, Ricard Raquel developed at like a prime rate. Like he's he's one of the few like success stories. So that's why when you look at the other comparables, the other side of the list, that's other guys that looked like him originally and then got the same kind of trend of point patterns at the same NHL E-level. So if you go to the next comp list there, I know you zoomed in on DO yep. um, to full comps. So he looks like those players. And all of those players played in the NHL for well over 200 games.